Good afternoon, everyone. Before I start, I'd just like to say thanks for watching the videos. Thanks for subscribing. Really means a lot, guys. Uh, what time is it? It's nearly three o'clock in the afternoon. Got all my jobs done. Um, I have today, so I thought I'd come and use the bait that I had left over from the weekend. I ain't got much. If I just show you that. I've got some ground bait that and it's got some of the uh, like boiler crush in from ringers. Uh, it's just a yeah sweet fish meal mix. Got some dead reds, some reds. I thought we're putting that in. I'll try. These are the ringers washed out. It's really clear this lake, so the wash. That's, I think will be better uh, but I think the best chance I've got is catching on um, dead reds to be honest what I am going to do I'm, I've clipped up at 30 meters and what I'm going to do is I'm going to put four if I show you look Got my helicopter rig on. I'm gonna put four of those in. And, and I've marked up a line out there at 30 meters. Uh, let's have a look, it's about 11 o'clock. And then I'm gonna do a short line to me right. I've got a tree there at probably about 20, 15 to 20 meters. And I'm just gonna start fishing that normal while my longer line settles so what I'm going to do well, I'm not packing it in tight I hope you can hear this I've tried to set up a microphone for you to see if that'll be better right when you cast in just get your accuracy just put your feet together right all in one motion just bring it back and that's it there we go look right just give it a minute to empty and then strike it out there we go it's, it's only about three to four foot deep this lake Right, in this one, I'm going to put about a dozen dead reds and there we go. I'm not going to put, I'm not going to put many three particles in I'm just hoping you can hear this this microphone setup works <laughs> right same again just a dozen dead reds
There we go. Just trying something different to what I tried the other day when I filmed. Just see if I can get a few fish going over that. I do think, if you can see, look, I do think um, rocks just add a bit of colour and they don't. Add a lot of feed to it. Right. Okay, that's perfect, I think, that. There we go. That's good, there's not, not much weed in it now. What I'm gonna do is start on, I'm gonna start on one of the Guru Ready Tide feeder hooks, size 14, micro barbed. I need to be practicing my feed of fishing anyway because I've got the three day festival at South Southfield I have at the end of this month. <clears throat> right, just gonna start on my short line on the four hole cage feeder. If I want my feed to go straight down, I have a little feeder that's got black electrical tape around it. Um, but initially I just want it to create a bit of a cloud. I've got a little bit of water on my side tray as well, so I can over wet the ground bait if I want and create a big like explosion of a cloud and that and there we go that'll do just one of those LWGF size 14 from Guru they're a really good hook. I use I use them anyway and tie and tie them up to what I want. These actually come in a meter. A meter length hook length and to be honest I don't want that in here. I want about just over 50 centimetres so put your waist Put your discarded line in your bag, take it home with you. And as you can see, I've got the helicopter rig. Just take that sleeve back and just hook your hook length onto the hook. And pull that back. 
Right, let's get this sorted a bit. Because I am going to start this one short. I always hook my maggots through the point of the maggot to leave more of the hook showing. And I'm just going to put half a dozen dead reds in that. There we go. Well, I hope you can hear me all right. It's, I have come to test out this microphone as well. I know it's really windy, so we'll see if it works. If you've got a lake like this near you, I mean, I'm fortunate, it's only five minutes away from my house. So that's why I can come in the afternoon and just try things and that helps me in me over fishing. So be interesting to see if I do get one where I put that bait in at the start or whether I just get a bite or two off the shorter line. where I've just fished it basically little little and often I hope you're getting this <laughs> testing this microphone <laughs> else what a waste of time it is <laughs> but always best to put I mean you've seen me do videos before on this lake you know how difficult it can be but it's always best to put two two lines in one short and one a bit longer gives you the best chance of catching one and also if you are catching on one line then you can use the other line just to rest that line for half an hour that's what I normally find anyway and now I'm only on my third cast anyway I'm just giving it five minute casts and uh, we'll see if we can get you one. Oh, my tip just moved then. It did. Let's see if we can get one. it moved anyway so let's just see if we can get one see if it develops so I'm on me short line I've only had six five minute casts and this is my seventh one so I'll leave this a bit longer now. I'll give this till 10 minutes.
There we go. Lovely, jubbly. That's just at 18 meters that. Let's turn that for you. Yes, lovely. Let's keep it down. Whoa, that really did go on a run, that did. Feels like a good fish. Let's see, gotta let them go when they wanna go. Keep him coming. Lovely. Wow, look at this. Look at the size of him, guys. Hook perfectly. That's why I love this helicopter rig for these tents. They just seem to take it different too. Bream, they do. Must be just the way they feed. There we go, look. Look at that lad there. Hey, that's brilliant fish. came exactly on 11 minutes so I'll give this next cast 11 minutes as well red maggots dead ones So now, now I know to now I know to give that at least ten minutes now. It's a strange old day. One minute 
you're really hot and then the next minute you're cold. I'm on my third cast on my longer line <clears throat> sorry my fourth cast on my longer line I've not had a sign yet hello <laughs> Little dog just come to say hello to me. Well, I've given it 50 minutes on my long line and I didn't have a sign. So this is my first cast back on my short line. There we go guys, look at this fella here. Oh, let me just clean that one, we'll cough him. Look at that lad. Oh, that's a tench, isn't it? That is a tench. Let's go in Wade. No. Oh, weighs a pound. Seven and a half, that says. What a lovely fish. Here we go, we'll let you have one. Let's look at him. There we go, look. What a lovely fish that is. Beautiful colours. Let's get him put back. There we go, look, let's get him put back. There we go, can you see him? You should be able to see him because it's so clear, this water. Come on then, fella. There he goes, look. Should have had my glasses on really let's have a look 
I just want to see where that was. Oh, it was eight, eight, and this net weighs. And this net weighs a pound. Well, that's lovely. So that was a that was a seven pound tench. I've got to start wearing my glasses when I do this. Yeah, that was a sub. Yeah, it was eight pound. Take off a pound, seven pound tench. That's amazing. <laughs> I'm sure there must be a nine pounder in here because I've had I've had them up to eight, but that's my biggest tench of the year, and I'm absolutely delighted with that. Well worth a little little session that is, isn't it? But I'm hungry now, and I'm going to go home for something to eat. So I hope you enjoyed that little video, anyway, and. Um, look after yourselves take care thanks for watching and as always enjoy your fishing bye for now bye